Hi there, thanks so much for joining us for our Signature Manager for Gmail demo. A bit of background, my name is Kelly Giese and I am the Marketing Lead at Hive Solutions. We are a Google Cloud Premier Partner, which means that Google authorizes us to sell licenses and services for their products for work, including Google Workspace. We also provide support, training, and data migration, as well as a variety of other services. So if you're in need of any of these, please reach out to us using the contact information in the description of this video. So a bit of background on this product. The idea for Signature Manager came about from a lot of customers asking us if there's a way for admins to manage their user signatures in a centralized place, especially having the ability to update signatures for individuals, for groups, or for the entire organization at once. And so I'm happy to share that our cloud engineering team has developed a tool for this. And one member of that team is Oscar, and he is joining me today. Um, he's been working on the tool and will be providing a demo. So with that, Oscar, please take it away. Thank you, Kelly. My name is Oscar Reynosa. I'm a cloud engineer here at Havio Solutions, and I was part of the development team for the signature manager for Gmail. I'll show you a quick demo of the application and you'll see the features of this application. I'll start by sharing my screen. In order to access the Signature Manager for Gmail, we're gonna go to signature.haviosolutions.com. We'll get to the landing page. And the Signature Manager for Gmail is a web application that will allow you to manage the Gmail signatures of your Google Workspace users. You need to authorize your domain by installing the marketplace add-on, which you can access here. You need to be a super administrator to perform this action. And for the purpose of this demo, I'll install it to the whole domain. Once this is done, uh, we will allow a couple of seconds for propagation. Keep in mind that this can take up to 24 hours to propagate to all your users. After allowing some time, you can log in to your super administrator account. Keep in mind that only the administrator that signs up for the application will have access. Sign up with Google. If the installation hasn't propagated yet, you will need to wait a couple of minutes and try again. After your account has been registered successfully, you can go ahead and Log in, and you will be taken to the signature management section. Um, the domain name display here is the primary domain of your account, and this will help you to identify the account that you're working with. You can apply the signature to all the users in your domain, only to specific users. Uh, you can apply it to Google Groups and to organizational units and the children. So. If you need to get um, an example signature, you can load one of your user's signatures. And you will also load the information of the account. If you want to apply the signature to multiple users, you can take advantage of the available placeholders. These are special characters that you can use in your templates, and they will be replaced with the user's actual information. These are the examples. So I'll go ahead and take one of this, replace it with the name, and also do the employee title, employee mobile. And then if you want to reuse this in the future, you can save it as a new template. You can add a name to quickly identify your templates, or you can just leave that empty. It will be available for you on the select a template dropdown menu. If you want to apply this signature, you will need to select uh, a target audience. We will go ahead and apply this to one user. So you can select it from the dropdown, hit Apply Signature. You will see um, a quick summary of what will happen. You will see the users that will be affected, groups or our units. Uh, quick warning telling you that this action cannot be reverted. 
and a preview of the signature. So I'll go ahead and apply this. After you have applied the signature, you can go ahead and reload the existing signature. You will see that the information has been replaced. You can also edit your existing signatures by selecting them from the drop down menu. Here I'll go I'll select this one. I'll go ahead and remove the mobile number. I can update the selected template and I can add a name basic with photo and resources. It's safe. And then this can be later used. So um, without further ado, uh, if you need further help, if you are having any issues using the application, you can get to the help section and you can contact us via email at support at You can also access our getting started guy. I'll hand it back to you, Kelly. Thank you so much, Oscar. And for everyone watching the demo, we hope you enjoy the Signature Manager for Gmail. We'll be looking for your reviews in the Google Workspace Marketplace.